Boom, me do, ba do, de de boom. Oh, loo, loo, little loo, little loo, 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 with freckles on your skin. Always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using dad's name tie for the tail of your kite. Using mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little loo, loo, little loo, loo, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Oh, you're wild, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to take, little Lulu. We love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. that grown-ups act pretty weird around babies? First, they get away with doing all kinds of weird things with their faces. I bet if they did that walking down the sidewalk, they'd probably get arrested. But what's even worse is the way grown-ups talk to babies. I once saw a mother lean down into a baby carriage and say, Oopsie, wootsie, snookum, wookums. I looked in and there was this baby just staring up at this lady thinking, I'm sure you're a very nice lady, but... You're making no sense at all. So naturally, the mother said, How's my sweetie, weedy, poopy, whoopy? Well, if you ask me, if that's how parents speak to their babies, it's no wonder it takes them so long to learn how to talk. dear. Unless your father is sitting on it. Hey! You don't have my doll's wig, do you, Mr. Moppet? I'm used to losing hair, Annie, not finding it. Hmm. This sounds like a job for... The spider can catch your thief. And I even know who it is already. You do? Who? Your dad, of course. He could use some hair. Well, for your information, he doesn't have it. I'll prove he took it. But first, I need a disguise. <laughs> Why couldn't he just get into his disguise at your house, Lulu? That'd be too simple. Just get me into your living room so I can keep an eye on your dad. <sighs> Tubby! Hey! What's going on? Gotcha! My first rescue of a runaway plant. I hope it's the last. <gasps> what? Thanks for saving my plant, Officer McNabb. Lulu, did you know it talks? Sometimes it doesn't stop. What I meant is that it's a, a, a special, um... Talking Mother's Day gift. Talking Mother's Day gift. Well, that explain. <gasps> Mother's Day? Oh, no. I forgot Mother's Day. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do in the line of duty. Us, too. Uh, Pop, this is a special Mother's Day gift. What a nice plant feels dry. It needs some water. Gosh. I have half a mind to drop this case. At least you don't smell like garbage anymore. Here's a new disguise, Tubby. Oh, no. No. Well, I suppose that sometimes on difficult cases, a detective will dress like a lady. And now for the final touch. You look swell, Tubby. <laughs> 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 
Your mother's hat was a great idea, Lulu. Your father won't suspect a thing. When we're with my dad, I'll say, there's a mouse under the chair! And I'll search him, find the wig, and solve the case. Oh, no! Mouse! Eek! A mouse! Oh, hey! Don't worry. I'll get it. Get off! <laughs> hey, look out for the... I better be going now, Mr. Moppet. It was nice meeting you. Lulu, we really must have a talk about your choice of friends. Sure. Did you find the wig? I don't know. I found a whole bunch of things in his pocket. Say, do you smell smoke? Uh oh. Ouch! Ow! 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 Oh, I'm burning! Good <laughs> Tubby, you ruined my dress! <laughs> And my mom's hat! Your father's pipe! Doesn't he know smoking is bad for your health? I don't know what's worse to have in the house. A thief or a detective? Let's get Tubby another disguise. <gasps> I had to customize your dad's clothes, so he'll think I'm a real detective. I think he's gonna think something else. Where did you get that hat and coat? That's what I thought he'd think. You have to come down sometime, and I'll be waiting for you. Hey, Lulu, I solved the case. The mother bird must have flown into your room and taken the wig. She made a nest out of it. Gee, Tubby, you really are a good detective. But I guess I can't take the wig back now. Sure you can. Yippee! <gasps> there, case solved. Gee, thanks, Tubby. But what about those little birds? Don't worry about it, Annie. Tubby thought of them, too. Want to play some more hide-and-seek? How about if we just play hide? Aren't feet weird? And toes bizarre. Not to mention ugly and... Ugh. Well, you get the point. I mean, you'd think that when they were designing the human body, they could have come up with something better than feet to put on the end. Something more fun. <laughs> like a bike. <laughs> I finally convinced my parents to take me to the amusement park the other day, and boy, was it great! We ate popcorn, pizza, and pink cotton candy, and then we went on the rumble, the zapper, and the twist. It was so much fun! I guess that's why they call it an amusement park. Funny, my parents didn't look too amused. They just looked sick. liked your lunch, dear. But did you have to bring it home with you? This is the place. They're only a dollar. Funny. All of a sudden, I'm hungry. <laughs> we can share. What about this one, sweetheart? <laughs> Thank you. See, Tubby, this is how you treat a lady. Um, aren't you forgetting something? Your rose, monsieur. <sighs> We don't need to see the menu, because we'll have whatever it is people are eating for a dollar. Ah, the frog legs. <gasps> a marvelous choice. And for your main course? <gasps> Monsieur did not pay for the rolls! Hmm. 
people eat frog legs? They actually pay for them and eat them, too? I know where they could get their own frogs and for free. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I bet if we catch lots of frogs, that restaurant will buy them. Then we could pay for the rolls you took. I didn't steal them. Rolls are free at restaurants. Well, this is it. The last time we were here, the swamp was full of frogs. I hope they don't remember that you scared them off with rocks. Oh, frogs are too dumb to... Remember? This might be trickier than we thought. Here I come, Tubby! Shoo, Froggy! Shoo, Froggy! Hey, shake a leg! Shoo! Shoo! Gotcha! Good catch! But don't squeeze him! That's in case he gets hungry. We don't want a frog with skinny legs. <gasps> That's my mother's hat box cover! She'll be really mad! Whoa! Aww. Listen to that frog croak. I bet he's laughing at us. If I were him, I'd laugh, too. Us fellers built a raft last time we came. We could use it to get the hat box cover. And teach those frogs who's boss around this swamp. Those frogs think they're so smart, but we'll get them if we camouflage the raft. Come on! When we get near the frogs, remember to duck into the leaves. I'll help! Now we're cooking. No, we're not. We're sinking. This raft will never sink. <gasps> Too bad we're not on it. I've had enough of this. I'm getting my hat box cover, and that's it. Yeah, darn. No more frog hunting for me. You've got to expect a little trouble, Lulu. You call getting outsmarted by frogs a little trouble? I bet we can still catch some. No way! Wow! Good thing you grabbed those rolls. We got them! I knew this was a good idea. I couldn't help myself. I had to have more of those delicious frog legs. Well, we've got a whole box full you can eat. I think I've had one too many. I wonder where that maitre d' is. This is pretty important. Maybe we should only talk to the maitre a. Ah, Mademoiselle and Monsieur are back for more rolls, I see. Well, they are only free if you eat a meal. You'll be giving us more than free rolls when you see what we've got. We have some frogs here for you. Lots of frogs. Freshly caught frogs with two legs each. Frogs? For me? See? No! Ah! Huh? Huh? And then my boss said, Hey, wait! Ah! A frog in your throat, dear. Gosh, why is everyone afraid? Where do they think frog legs come from, anyway? Responsible. You must get rid of these frogs. <laughs> Please help me. I'll pay you a nickel a piece to get rid of them. Sure. Wow, there's sure a lot of money in frogs. But I don't want them to be eaten after all. We should let them go. Okay, Lulu. The frog legs here are better than the last place. Oh, we'll let them go, all right, in this restaurant. Ever think about how some words are really funny when you put them together? Like toilet training. I mean, what would you train a toilet to do? Roll over and fetch? <laughs> Maybe an attack toilet would keep burglars away. 
but I think a dog would be better and definitely easier to walk. <laughs> and then there's fly fishing. Not only would the hooks have to be teensy-weensy, but what would you use for bait? <laughs> and let's not forget baby powder. Do you just add water and presto baby? <laughs> well, let me tell you, that's not how it works. I know, because I whipped up a batch with water, and you know what I got? I got yelled at for making a mess. your father is doing? Okay, Mom. What you doing, Dad? I thought you went to buy wood for a new bookshelf. Huh, new wood is too expensive, so I'm using some of these extra floor supports. I need a hand. Could you please ask your mother to come down? Okay. Whoa! Rat! <laughs> On second thought, maybe I will go and buy some wood. I'd sure like to help my dad find that wood he needs. Hey, maybe Tubby and the boys know. They used wood to make their clubhouse. Hiya, fellas! Uh, ha! Hey, give me back my marble, Iggy. Fellas, can we ask you a question? No. Can't you see we're having a club meeting? It's members only. If we were members, then could we ask you a question? No! no. The day we let girls into the club is the day we move our clubhouse. <laughs> Ow! Now look at what you did. That's why we don't let girls in our club. Fine. Hmm. Lower. Stores will be built on this spot. So they're finally going to tear down this old building. I think I know where we're going to get some really cheap wood after all. <laughs> this is a great idea. Hey, who put that sign there? Whoever's building stores here. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have to move the clubhouse. To where? There are no other empty lots around anywhere. I think we can trick someone into letting us use their backyard if we let them into the club. Lulu! <laughs> no! But we gotta save the clubhouse. Okay. You're right. Gee. Huh? Say, Lulu, wanna join our club? No. You could be president. You'll be boss, and you can do anything you want. Only if Annie can be a member, too. She said yes, fellers. Oh, Tubby sure can handle women. Fellers, meet President Lulu. President? Come back after lunch for your first meeting as President, Lulu. See you later, boys. Don't worry. She'll have no real say. Oh. Just like a grown-up president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what are you doing? Don't you remember? I said the day we let girls into the club is the day we move the clubhouse. And as president, you get the honor of leading the way. Huh? huh? We'll push. <laughs> Gee, we sure elected a strong president. Fellers, mind if we take a shortcut? How do you know where we're going? Women's intuition. I don't like the sound of that. 
Ah! Now let's take the real shortcut. Ah! Piggy, go see where we're going. Look at that. They're even making cars out of wood. And I can't find enough cheap wood for a lousy bookshelf. Right on time. Improper turn, speeding, and taking a policeman's uniform? What is this? A $5 ticket is what it is. Where will we get $5? Right here. I'll buy some of this wood for $5. Thank you. <laughs> This'll do just fine. <laughs> well, I don't like it. You shouldn't have tricked us, Lulu. You said when I was president, I could do anything I want. So, one lump or two? <laughs> Today in class, the nutritionist said, you are what you eat. And you know what? I found out she's right. At lunch in the cafeteria, I saw our nutty science teacher eating nuts. And Biff Bentley, the big school show-off, was eating a hot dog. And then when I got home, my dad was in his usual spot on the sofa watching TV, but he was eating potato chips. And then Mom came in and told him he was a big couch potato. So then I started thinking that being what you eat can come in really handy. Like for my big math test tomorrow. Instead of studying, I asked Mom for something really special for dinner. Brains! 